Why hello and welcome to today's video where we are going to do the thing that we do the best. Scroll on the internet and waste our time and lives. Yes, you saw the title correctly. I am finally getting on TikTok. I guess. I don't know. It's time, right? It's time. I just like, I don't know what my issue is with it. I think I just know it's going to be fun. I think I know it's going to be great. And I like to self-sabotage. So... You know, but it's gotten to the point where even my mother is on TikTok. She told me the other day, she's like, yeah, I love cleaning TikTok. I get all my little hacks and I watch this video and that blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like, you know what? It's time. We're gonna go on this little journey together. I hope you're excited. I think I might be getting sick. So if you hear me breathing, just like way too much, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. <laughs> there was lit or something. I promise I'm not weird. All right, so this is my account right now. If you would like to go and follow, you are more than welcome to do so. Also follow, I guess I keep calling it like my secondary account. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, then you know the request for Ash Page. They are also on TikTok and they are also editing this video. So everyone say hi, show your love, show your support. But yeah, this is my account right now. I finally took a photo to use as a profile pic because that's really hard for me to do. I'm not gonna lie. Do I like it? I don't know. I don't know. But I also have to add a bio. Now this, I don't know what it is about bios with any form of social media. You want me to talk about myself? Girl, no, that's dangerous. <laughs> Cause it's either gonna be me oversharing or me just being like, I don't know who I am as a person and I'm going to spiral. spiral. Also, it's so funny. I haven't mentioned like that I have this account. Everyone just kind of keeps following me or the other page is tagging me. So I already have 32 followers. She's an influencer. Is that cute or is that like annoying? I don't know, y'all Y'all, let me know. If you can think of a good bio, leave it in the comments down below and I definitely will change it. So as far as my profile, I think everything's set up. Obviously you're looking at like these videos and this little upload button being like, girl, get used to it. Like, let's start that. Um, here's what inspired this video. I really don't understand how TikTok works. I don't understand what people do on TikTok. So we are going to explore creators. We are going to explore my For You page together. And hopefully I get some sort of idea. Hopefully, you know, the two brain cells up here, they connect. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look through my For You page now. I kind of feel like my For You page is cheating um, because people have sent me TikToks like my friends and stuff to watch and I've watched them in the app. So I don't think I'm getting like the full first time experience of a For You page, but I've been told your first time going through your For You page, terrifying because it's just like straight TikTok. It's just like, Obnoxious. What would you do if I was your server and after you ordered your food, we made eye contact and I asked you slowly, is there anything else I could get you? No! <laughs> it's just not gonna be my thing. So we're gonna go through this together because I'm actually so curious. But again, it might be a little like, mm, because I've seen like other ones my friends have sent. But besides that, I have not been on this app. I have not looked at anything. I don't really know what I'm doing. You're holding my hand and we're going through this together. Thank God. Go to home. Secret Britney. Oh, we, we're reading. <laughs> that is so funny that Britney popped up though because there's gonna be a section in this video where we go and look up creators and I asked you guys on Twitter like who to look up and Brittany was the number one person. So while we're here, Brittany, I'm so sorry that you're crying, but let's go look. So I just watched that one. I'm like, what do you post on TikTok, right? What, what are these like little singing redneck? What, what, are, what those? are those? You know, you, know? you got you categories. Got categories? You got, you got mini series, series on, TikTok? on TikTok? That's crazy. Let's see, this one has 2 million. Let's see what this is. Bob Esponja. Bob Esponja. I don't know Spanish. Bob. 
Bob Esponja. So let's go to probably even hearing about the benefits of magnesium all over TikTok, haven't you? How it can ease anxiety, stress, insomnia, cramps, and so many other things. But did you know that magnesium is not the only thing that causes those issues? See, magnesium helps our bodies absorb vitamin D. I'm deficient in that. Low vitamin D leads to osteoporosis, oh, muscle cramps, fatigue, mood instability, and depression. Me! Increased stress. And you see the vicious cycle? Yeah, here? girl, so I magnesium love it. And vitamin Girl. Girl. Wait. 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 Okay. I'm not buying her body butter, right? But she's not lying because I'm vitamin D deficient and my mom, my mother, maybe she saw this TikTok. Vitamin D. Magnesium. This sh hits. <laughs> I have the little gummies because I don't like taking pills. I'm just a girl. Yeah, my life's kind of changed. Taking that and vitamin B12. If you are depressed and you feel so unmotivated, you probably are lacking in vitamins. You're welcome. I just changed your life. Oh. <gasps> Renee! Oh my goodness. Should you like the house? Okay. <laughs> I love her. I'm having a hard time. Give me that. Do it, you're right. I'm so sad I couldn't go to her show. I really am. Um, yeah, pretty girls. Pretty girls. Pretty girls. Pretty girls. Pretty girls. I water. Woo! We will be looking at Renee later. I still can't get over Jacob uh, imprinting on that baby in Twilight. So is TikTok just like shit post? <laughs> How did you do? Like I could just get on here and be like, you guys, listen. <laughs> And it's viral? Like, is that what you do on TikTok? That's what I need to know. She, she doesn't have a care in the world. No. I love it. Oh, uh, I'm gonna like that. That's cute. Okay, listen. Coming from someone who is in a friend group where I felt like everything I did was wrong and like terrible. Love it. Oh, I see this as ad song. So here's the thing. When I'm filming this, it is the day after UMG like said F music, F artist. We're not doing that anymore. So I don't know if that's gonna affect my experience. I'm just letting y'all know. Why is this for me? Is TikTok calling me a fat ass? You know, you hear it from people online. You hear it from people that you know. But you would hope it wouldn't come from a major corporation. <laughs> I deserve an Oscar for that. <laughs> Cats! The Bluetooth device is connected successfully. Oh my God. No! No! F that! I don't know what that was. I hated that. Go. What is this from? The, the last five years. See, this is the problem with me with TikTok because this is like a joke. But now I'm like, what is the last five years? It has Anna Kendrick in it. Who else is in it? Like, what is the lore? And I'm gonna spiral and go down a rabbit hole. This is why I didn't want to get on the app. I know my brain. She's scary. <laughs> Thing back, thing back. Does your child sound me. like me? As my child is ripping up the couch behind me, that's fine. So what are you gonna do? Continue to be a bitch? That's me! Dance. How can I afford nails, Pilates, facials, massages, and everything else under the sun for the price of- What are you doing? What are you doing? This is how a millennial zooms in. And this is how Gen Z zooms in. As a millennial <laughs> with almost 4 million followers, a seasoned veteran on this app, over a thousand videos, almost 200... I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. My seven-year-old to bed last night, and as many of you know, I ask her every night, what do you want to talk about as a way to sort of... Aww, why am I going to adopt him? He's going to be my dad. I got all these daddy issues. 
So that is just a little sneak peek into my For You page. What do you guys think? Um, she's kind of lacking. <laughs> but I think I have an idea. It's just you getting on here and just talking. And what does my bio say? A girl who just talks too much. I think I can do that. Like in a perfect world, it's me just like getting on here and just doing like little updates, doing little videos, whatever. And then like in between maybe videos of my videos, right? Like, is that what a content creator does? Hmm. Is someone who's good at their job, is that what they do? <laughs> I'm just like, mm, if I was good at my job, is this what I should be doing? <laughs> I try not to keep myself. So the next part that I have for this video, I'm super excited for, but kind of nervous about because I hate, like there's people who are content creators who like look up their name on Twitter or like whatever, like they wanna know what people are saying. I'm good. I'd rather be delusional and live in a world where it's like no one really perceives me so no one has anything to say. You know, like for my feelings and my mental health, it's better that way. However, my request page so graciously, is that the right word? So graciously has collected some links that I get to look at and it's some edits that you guys have made and I'm Really excited, but like kind of nervous because I'm like, oh God, I'm not insane. insane. Which I know is stupid because that's my job, but I'm like, ah! Oh, she looks so good. Marry me. <laughs> it's okay to be gay. <laughs> Period. Is that the video I said that in? <laughs> oh my gosh, should I reply? What are the comments? See, this is the scary part of like, I don't really want to see the comments. She's so fine. That's why I'm. Ah, that's crazy. I'm like, you guys like me? <laughs> that's so stupid. I'm just gonna say I love you, cause I do. I do love you. And this might sound like I'm sitting here being like, I, I want compliments. I want blah blah blah. I don't get attention like that. Like you guys are always like, when are we getting a father? Like, the dating life. What's the scoop? And I'm like, girl, it's cricket. No one is trying to hit me up. Like no one is trying to do that. Probably because they see a video and they're like, I'm good. <laughs> but good to know, people think I'm cute. <laughs> this was my turning red video, I think. These are so cute. This honestly will be why I use TikTok. I'm like, hi guys. <laughs> Period. Wait, should I be like offended? Are you saying I'm not cool? Because you're right. But then you show pictures where I think I look cute. Well, I guess I'm wearing Shrek ears and crying. I'm gonna assume this is good. <laughs> My cover person. Aw, cute. I love this. It's just so crazy to me that like, I guess I'm at a position where people are gonna start making edits, you know? Cause I know it's like, oh, she's just being humble. She's just being coy. But like, I genuinely just don't ever see myself in that way of like a content creator <laughs> and like someone on the internet. In my head, I'm still just in my own little corner, just kind of doing my own thing. Bitch, who is Eli? Who is Eli? Bitch, you don't. Bitch, get out. You know when your mom puts like stuff that you drew in school on the fridge? That's what I want to do with these TikToks. I'm just like, oh, cute. <laughs> oh my God, drawing? Internet, this is not the time. Whoa, oh, I've seen this picture. Okay, talent. That's why I'm like, why do I have the channel? I'm just sitting here talking and screaming. The f Spare change. Spare change, ma'am. So fine. <laughs> it's just so funny to me.
to me because I'm like, me? Me? No. No. But like, I kind of love it, but I'm also like, no. So, from here on out, I asked you guys on Twitter um, certain accounts that you really, really love and that you follow on TikTok that make the experience even better. And so I decided I wanna explore that. I'm gonna see what the girlies and the gays are watching, you know? Cause that's my demographic. I'm an ally. Ally! Ally. Celebrate the gay. Don't pray the gay away. It's okay to be gay. I'm part of the LGBTQ community. And this is my best friend, Valentina. She's an ally. Talk, Valentina. Ally. So I did get a lot of people. I did get a lot of accounts. I can't look at every single person in this video. But if you did send me someone, trust me, when this camera is off, I'm going to go watch. I'm going to go look because I really need all the help I can get to like make TikTok the best experience it can be for me. We are going to look at the people who I got suggested the most. So the first one is Miss Renee Rapp. I already know this is gonna be the most unhinged shit I have ever seen, and I'm ready. Oh, we can't play it because of copyright probably, but. Like, how do you sound like that? She looks so good. I still haven't seen Mean Girls. I really need to. Riveting. <laughs> I don't think I have ever been this tired in my life, and not in a bad way, but in the way that if I look in the mirror and I forget that I look like this, because like we're on set, so I have a ton of like stuff on, <laughs> I look in the mirror and just be like, da. Ah. I felt that. Because if I film like consecutively for a couple days, and then obviously like I need to edit the footage, whatever, and I look in the mirror, I'm just like, Ew. like it's a jump scare. That's why like today I didn't really put on a lot of makeup because I was like. I really don't want to morph what I think I should look like or what I do look like. So when I look the way that I do, I get depressed about it. You know what I mean? Body dysmorphia things, it's fine. I mean, honestly, I don't even need to see anymore. Like Renee was one of the ones where I was like, when I get a TikTok, I'm following. Like I need that energy in my life, even more than it already is. You know? I don't know if I'm gonna say this right. Grape juice nads? Is that how you say that? I just want some recognition oh. for having good tits and a big heart. Oh, I've seen, oh, I can't believe I've seen them that you hate it. In hindsight, that might be the worst part. Ooh. Wait, let me go back to that. Cause come on, notes. I just want some recognition for having good tits and a big heart. I can't believe I let you hate it. In hindsight, that might be the worst part. Ooh, okay. Okay. Damn, not the talent. Oh, me. Uh, me, every time in the shower, I'm putting on a show. Okay, but she's kind of killing it. So you can sing, you can dance, and you're pretty. Fuck you. Got it. Love it. All right, I already know I'm following you. I can already tell you're going to be a comfort person. So next one is Drew Afualo. Obviously, I know Drew because Drew is like famous for hating men. And honestly, what a brand. What a legacy. Good for you. And I do have to say, for anyone watching this who is a fan of Drew, when I went to VidCon last year, um, I kind of talked about it in my video when I covered that whole experience, but to just kind of wrap it up here, <laughs> my friends and I kept running into Drew. Like everywhere I went, Drew was there. Like we had our meet and greets at the same time. We were going to certain panels at the same time. And um, she is so incredibly nice. Like as personable and as great as you could imagine. Maybe honestly, possibly more because you always think, you know, with certain content creators, like it's an act, it's a persona, they're playing it up for the cameras, whatever. But like Drew is genuinely just Drew. It's crazy. <laughs> like We saw Drew, um, Jacob wanted to take a photo with her and we did that, whatever. And then like we kept seeing her and it became a running joke that by the end of VidCon, she was just kind of like, do I need to get a restraining order? Which maybe wasn't a joke. That might have been a warning, but we're gonna ignore it. Here we are, we're live at the Argyle premiere, and we're gonna talk to the stars. There's no one here yet, <laughs> but once I was on time. Who do you think would win in a fight, Walter White or Argyle? Last season, Walter White, like he's, he's- I've still never seen Breaking Bad, is that bad? Also, my nipples have not poked through my dress yet. That's a win. <laughs> but I know you can't pick favorites okay. in the cast, okay, but no, if- it... Well, I wanna see, I wanna see one of the like, men hating 
<laughs> right? I'm like, that's what we're here for. You guys exchanged numbers? Maybe. Uh, nah. <laughs> I left my phone at my table, so, and I don't remember my number. You know he was what? just saying that because he didn't want to be rejected. <laughs> Go watch that video if you need more context because I was tagged in it a bajillion times. Here's the synopsis of it. The kid in the middle interviews those two people separately. He shows them pictures of each other on Instagram and asks them to rate them. And I don't know if you could tell by Bert from Bert and Ernie's fuck ass <laughs> answer. He says a lot of fucked up shit about that girl. Gives her a five, tells her her rating could get higher if she was Margot Robbie question mark and said she needs to be sexier then he has these two people meet and he does this fucking bullshit in front of her now when that interviewer talked to that girl she was very very nice she rated him an eight <laughs> okay and rated herself like an eight eight and a half mind you he rated himself a nine that's always what happens yeah a nine yeah Time zero. <laughs> All of that to say, this is exactly why I tell you bitches to be mean as fuck to these men immediately. You don't give them an ounce of fucking patience. You don't even waste your breath, bitch. As soon as there's any sign of disrespect, I'm giving him exactly what he gave every girl that's ever had the mm -hmm. misfortune of sleeping with him a horrible mm -hmm. fucking time. I'm ruining your fucking summer, bitch. I can promise you that. <laughs> Giving them the kindness and lying to them, time. empowering people like Sam the fucking eagle to even fix his lips to rate that beautiful girl a five. The interviewer literally showed her this picture. Girl. <laughs> and he said he was six horn. <laughs> In his dreams, oh, maybe. I'm boiling with rage. <laughs> Oh, you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> like literal icon. There is nothing else to say. Mother. Oh, she's taking it. So next we are gonna go to Brittany Borowski. We kind of already got like a little teaser earlier, but let's see what the official account looks like. <laughs> Period. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I got them already. No clean forks. Been there! Been there! Oh my god. Been there where I've had to use a spoon for things that spoons just don't work for. I'm more familiar with Britney's um, content, so I'm not too surprised by it. But we stand. So a lot of people also said the basement yard, which is so funny to me because I'm very familiar with the base. Well, I'm familiar with Joe. I remember watching Joe when he just was doing his own thing on YouTube forever ago, like forever and a decade ago. So it's so funny now, like this whole love for Joe. Cause I'm like, where have you bitches been? <laughs> like I've been here, I've been sat. People who order long, shots of vodka are like 13. Whores. <laughs> well, Me? those things can't be the true at the same time. <laughs> you part of it. <laughs> Some of us can't drink, okay? It's fine. Don't question, question it. it. Okay, so the next one, KC Winnie. I think that's how you say it. Cry me a river. Wow. Oh my oh gosh. Oh. Keep him up good. The is not just a river in Egypt. So You're on a boat. boat. <laughs> oh my oh gosh. God, oh, I already know. She's my girl. So we have, we have series. I'm still very confused about the whole series thing. So y'all gotta explain some shit to me in the comments. No, because like the whole situation is just like insane. Like, you know what I mean? Like, arg. And then I, what'd you just say? Arg. <laughs> what is that? Arg. Arg. Wait. <laughs> I love that. That, yeah, Arg. I love in this universe, the pirates are in the Devil Wears Prada. A, a neighbor that went through a recession. One, no. two, three, 2008. <laughs> we ate, we ate. <laughs> Maybe we should 
don't be surprised when I start like shoving her down your guys' throat. That's if she would, that's a whole different story. We're not gonna get into that, but hey. <laughs> oh my God, and look at Sabrina. You already know I'm gonna follow though, so it's okay. Okay, so that was my extensive journey into the TikTok universe for the first time. Um, definitely give me recommendations, hints, cheat codes into how to do TikTok. Um, I kind of have more of an idea though, of like how the site works. Again, it's like good content, but also shit posts. And I feel like that's kind of me. If I had to describe me, it's that. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know um, what else I should do. You know, we're gonna keep up the consistency on this channel. You're gonna see a lot more of me, so I hope you're excited. I hope you're ready. Don't forget to go follow me on TikTok and the request page as well if you wanna get double the uploads, double the content, double the fun. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff I'm supposed to say. I love you guys very, very, very much, and I will see you in the next one. Mwah. Bye. Bye. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs>